Good morning, beloved of God. Old Testament Thursday. Uh, for the lectionary text, uh, which is lectionary 30, not Reformation. So some, this is one of those Sundays where some may receive this, others may not. It's okay. We're still in Jeremiah. We're well in, in God's word richly together. So I'll meet you at the 31st chapter of Jeremiah. Uh, just a couple verses there, 7 through 9. If you want to share that first, and then we'll read the devotion together from Christ in the Home and our partners in ministry there at Augsburg Fortress. But first, let's dwell here richly in God's Word. For thus says the Lord, Sing aloud with gladness for Jacob, and raise shouts for the chief of the nations. Proclaim, give praise, and say, Save, O Lord, your people, the remnant of Israel. See, I am going to bring them from the land of the north, and gather them from the farthest parts of the earth, among the, um, the blind and the lame, those with child and those in labor together. A great company they shall return here. With weeping they shall come, and with consolations I will lead them back. I will let them walk my brooks of water in a straight path in which they shall not stumble. For I have become a father to Israel, and Ephraim is my firstborn. With water comes life, the title of our devotion from Christ in our home as we continue together, uh, inviting, being invited to consider that last verse that we encountered together, part of which says, I will let them walk by brooks of water. Our need for water is clearest to us when it runs short. Droughts damage crops, herds, and flocks. People in small towns and rural communities discover that wells have been contaminated or have run dry. Victims of war and other disasters sometimes survive on mere ounces of water per day. Most of the book of Jeremiah, chapters 1 through 29 and 34 through 52, it says here, calls on the people of Judah to repent for their unfaithfulness and warns that they will be taken captive by a foreign power if they do not. But chapters 30 and 33 to 33 sometimes called the Little Book of Consolation, or Book of Comfort, promise the restoration of Judah. Using poetic images, the prophet assures the people that their journey home will be joyful. They will even walk by brooks of water. Jeremiah's listeners likely thought of the physical life that a brook supports. But as Christians, we also recall the water of baptism. Through baptism, we are born anew and welcomed into God's family. A prayer to pray this day together. Source of all life, we thank you that through baptism you have raised us to new life in you. Amen. As this day unfolds before you, be invited to continue in faithfulness and prayer and lift there in prayer organizations working to provide clean water for all. Um, be praying for Gabby and Abby. Uh, as they prepare to affirm the gifts of their baptism on Sunday. Again, here at Cross of Hope, 10 o'clock, we'll worship once together, and it'll be streamed here. So if you are accustomed to uh, joining us for worship online, be invited to, to just wait a tiny bit this week and join us at 10 Mountain Time. Uh, and then we'll, we'll have a time of faith formation beforehand and fellowship after for those who are local. Come and join us for uh, a different yet wonderful and spirit-filled weekend uh, of worship together on Sunday. God bless you and God be with you, beloved.